Acclaimed director Guillermo del Toro loved Clint Eastwood's newest film, Dura No. 2, and is shocked that Warner Brothers didn't release it in more theaters. Dura No. 2, which could potentially be Clint Eastwood's last movie, follows a jury member on a high-profile murder case who realizes that he might actually be the one who killed the victim. The cast of Dura No. 2 includes Nicholas Holt, Zoe Duch, Tony Collette, and J.K. Simmons. Reviews for the Eastwood movie have been great, but not many people have been able to see it since it was released in a limited number of theaters. Recently, Del Toro had a chance to watch the movie and gave a glowing review of Dura No. 2 on his Blue Sky account. While explaining why he enjoyed the movie, the director also questioned why the movie didn't get a wider release. Read his full post below. What Guillermo Del Toro's praise means for Dura No. 2. Guillermo Del Toro is one of many critics who loved Dura No. 2. Even though Dura No. 2 was only released in 50 theaters, the movie has surprisingly made close to $10 million at the box office. Additionally, the movie currently holds an impressive score of 93% on Rotten Tomatoes. Therefore, audiences are clearly interested in Eastwood's latest movie, and critics have been praising the film. For instance, Screen Rant's May Abdelbaki awarded a 7 out of 10, saying, the film's fairly simple premise is nicely complicated by ethical arguments, human emotions, and actions that make it worthwhile. This, coupled with Del Toro's review, proves that Warner Brothers chose the wrong release strategy for Dura Hash 2 Dura No. 2 had a budget of $35 million. While it may not make back its budget in theaters, that is only because Warner Brothers made the movie extremely difficult to watch before its eventual streaming debut. Based on its current box office numbers, it is clear that Dura No. 2 would have easily been a success with a wide release. Clint Eastwood's 2018 film The Mule made almost $175 million at the box office, so it is surprising that Warner Brothers had no faith in Dura No. 2. Our take on Guillermo del Toro's Dura No. 2 praise. The limited release is such a shame. Imager from Dura Hash 2 Custom Image by Yalin Chacon. Dura No. 2 has one of the most intriguing movie premises of the year and a very strong cast, so it is a shame that Warner Brothers did not give the film a wide release. Del Toro is a huge fan of cinema and has made incredible movies, such as Pan's Labyrinth and The Shape of Water. Therefore, Del Toro is a trustworthy source, which makes it even more disappointing that a lot of people have not been able to watch Dura No. 2.